Hey, it's Jabbo. Welcome to Brigzar, your home for Lego disappointment. I disappoint people daily on this channel. Actually, I don't film videos every day. I did last year, and I did for uh, quite a while. I'd have either daily videos or multiple daily videos. I just do them when I can right now. I'm trying to get the Lego collection organized. And uh, so, anyway, I've been really busy. Actually, what I've been doing is sorting my collection and I've started this past week or so, I've been going through my Lego Star Wars. So of all the themes other than collectible minifigures, which I, I'm going to see which Muppets I got here as well uh, in this video. Or at least see if these boxes are different than the one I did on A Fool Podcast. Or a, a Brick Change channel, we talked about it on A Fool Podcast. But, uh, so I've been starting with Star Wars, because Star Wars is the theme that I have the most different sets. Except for collectible minifigures, but who it's not really a set it's just a minifigure with some accessories so so yeah you got a lot of assembled sets that i've been taking apart because lego pieces uh, tend to as joey from brick train said they melt <laughs> not literally melt but figuratively like just pieces disappear over time so i've gone through a lot of the different sets i'm from x-wing fighters uh to I don't know. I, I can't even remember what I've... There's old Republic stuff I've been taking apart. I don't even know anything about it. Uh, one of them has a little guy that looks like uh, Darth Vader without his helmet. I've been told it's Darth Malgus. I can't find Darth Malgus. But anyway, that set was like incredible. It's just like I could not believe as I was taking it apart how many pieces it was. And then the pile, the pile of parts that I ended up with looked bigger than the actual set. And then, of course, after I took it apart, I realized I never did a video on it. So that's disappointing. Uh, they might be bricks. He he built it, but still, was, I, I couldn't have done a video on it right now anyway because I'm missing Darth Malgus. He's somewhere in the collection somewhere. So I'll be looking for him. So all these sets, taking them, uh, taking them apart, inventorying them using the checklist from BrickLink, almost, I think, with one exception, all of them are missing pieces minifigures, things like that. So it's just like mind-blowing. Some of them I, th I, I really thought were complete, uh, were missing. I think the main culprits is uh, people in my family that uh, my son-in-law likes to consolidate figures by their type. So he sometimes when he's over, he'll be, have all the clone troopers and other troopers together. And so some things have uh, disappeared from the sets they were with. My son has used parts of figures like he used uh, Luke Skywalker's hair for the Flash Gordon minifigure, uh, so I got to order a Luke Skywalker's hair because I, I I want to leave the Flash Gordon the way it is. So, yeah, and then the cat knocks things. I think the cat's the biggest culprit in all of this. Uh, like my ATST Raider from uh, the Mandalorian show, it was missing a ton of pieces, and I think it's the little bits that that fall off easy that the cat had knocked off. Uh, so I've been going through my BrickLink store getting those, and I've been making a list of parts that are missing as I find them. So, I mean, all of the parts are here somewhere. They're in the basement somewhere. i just got to find them. So I'm going through making a list, putting them in baggies, putting them in a container, labeled Star Wars. And that's going to be Star Wars box number one. And it's, it's amazing. So that box originally had a bunch of built sets that had fallen apart in there. And I've put all of those sets in there, plus... A ton more so it's like I'm going to be able to consolidate some of this down all right so that's actually good that's not disappointing uh, the other thing that's disappointing is the BrickLink designer program <laughs> I we talk about it in the AFOOL podcast so the AFOOL podcast that will air Friday the 20th I think uh, we talked about the uh, the BrickLink designer program and we filmed this like two or three weeks ago and we were talking about the sets. Well, the a full, the a full, the BrickLink Designer Program went live, and everything that became approved sold out within 24 hours. And I totally forgot about it. So it's all on me to. Uh, the, I, I can't blame anybody but myself because there was plenty of time to place an order. The only problem is there was only a limited number. So only 10,000 of the sets that were the first to reach 3,000. <laughs> Would, would be made into sets at a future date, which I don't understand it. It's like, why not sell as many 
as people place orders for. So you could you could sell 20,000, 100,000. I don't know how many people would would buy these. I I really was impressed that they sold out in 24 hours, but all I can say is my for forgetfulness. I, I meant to set an alarm on my phone to go off to remind me to go because there's one set I wanted. It was the train station. But then part of me was like, well, it's $400, so it might be on there for a few days before it sold out. No, it sold out in a day. Uh, so I, I, there's one train set I won't get. So the, the only thing is perhaps if it doesn't have exclusive parts... If it doesn't have exclusive parts, I may be able to piece it together. Uh, I don't know how what the final part count will be. I think it's around 4,000 pieces. So as soon as there's an inventory for that, I'm going to look at it and see, okay, if there's parts I can get from other sets, I'll just try to piece it together. But it's really a pain to piece together a 4,000-piece set. So, yeah, I saved $1,000, basically, because there was several sets that I would have put in orders for. But... Uh, and this is really impressive that it's all the, the, these larger sets were the ones that got to the 3,000 first and then sold out. They all sold out. So Lego, look at this. All right, so you these didn't get approved for Lego Ideas, and they were higher price point sets, and yet they all sold out. And you have people like me who wanted some of them who won't ever be able to get them because you limited the number. So uh, they should have been in the Ideas program. They should have been approved in ideas. They should have been Lego idea sets, and you could have sold as many of them as you wanted. Probably even at a, um, it might have even been at a higher price point. I don't know, <laughs> but please, Lego, stop limiting stuff that people actually want, and stop producing stuff that nobody wants. You, 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 I just don't get it. I don't get it. Oh, before I get to my Muppets thing, so another thing we talked about on the A Fool podcast, we we, we had a uh, in talk, Kim from InTalk and she got to go to the Lego house and it was really nice to hear her experiences going to uh, the Lego house to so be sure to check out her video she did a summary video of her trip but she, she also um, has a couple other things we talk about in the AFL podcast and she sent me a thank you note for being an AFL podcast and she sent me an exclusive Lego house 2x4 brick with Lego house uh, logo on it there, home of the brick. So thank you for that keychain uh, from InTalk. And because it'll probably be a while before I'm able to be in a position to go to the um, the Lego house. I'd love to go, love to go to the vault. She's a two-time visitor, so she got to look at other things and were detail that she missed the first time and so be sure to check out the AFL podcast to see her, her experience uh, with that that's over on Brick Train's uh, channel where we'll talk about about that but she also is she just posted a video of her Duplo castle which may be the the most impressive Lego castle ever that nobody knows about <laughs> it, it's the Duplo castle so she she's she pieced it together herself and she did a video with it set up, and it's a pretty impressive castle. And I think I'm influenced uh, by her. We will see in the future if I truly was influenced. I'm going to open this other Muppet box. I'm not going to go through this video and open all of these packs. I'm just going to open a couple of them to see if I got different ones. So it, over on Joey's channel, Brick Trains, we did it opening um, him... Mardi Gras man and myself. Uh, Joey ended up after that. He opened two. We each opened two boxes. Joey and I did not get a complete set. We got I got seven. He got six, and Mardi Gras man got eleven. And I think Joey sent Mardi Gras man the one that he was missing. They traded, and this is Bunsen. So I think I got a different box. Okay, so but Joey on his channel, you'll see he opened later. He did another video where he opened two more boxes, like I was about to do, and he got the same. So he got four boxes pretty much that were the same. I apparently have gotten a different box because in this one we have Dr. Bunsen. Um, that's his head, by the way. <laughs> so I'm not going to build these in this video. I'm just seeing if they're different. So I'm going to open another one to see if it's a different one. I might not even have to open this box. Um, let's see. Oh yeah, I got... So there's Statler and Waldorf. 
And I got Statler before and now I got Waldorf. So yeah, it looks like I'm gonna have a complete set and I can save, I'm gonna keep this box sealed, I think. So I'll just go through and check personally. Again, I'm, it's not a good visual experience for you at home. <laughs> so I, I was prepared to be disappointed. Yeah, we got Miss Piggy. Uh, so, oh. So my disappointment is not as good. <laughs> Wait, which is this good, right? Yeah. If it wasn't for disappointment, I wouldn't have any appointment. But, um, so it looks like I'm going to have a complete set now. And I got this one is Animal. I got Animal with his drum set. And so I'm going to have one duplicate out of all of this, which I think will be either Roth or Fozzy. I got... This is Kermit the Frog's dismembered body. And so this one will be either Rolf or Fozzie. So I've been re-watching The Muppet Show. Uh, they did a special in 1974. It was a holiday special. And then they did Sex and Violence in 1975. And then the regular Muppet Show started in 1976. Yeah, this is Fozzie Bear. Ha! <laughs> and um, yeah, I got a complete set out of three boxes. So I recommend if you're buying the collectible minifigures, do the boxes. Uh, mathematically, it's actually more unlikely that you will have an experience like Joey had, where he had four identical boxes. I recommend recommend buying them at the same place too, at once, and you're, I think it increases your odds of getting at least two different boxes. Uh, but anyway, I've been rewatching the Muppet Show. I would say it's disappointing. Uh, the the episodes where people lip sync, it's very bad, very bad lip syncing. But there's uh, so I'm just I've watched like twelve episodes. And it's like, it brings back all those childhood memories. Uh, it's like, <laughs> it, it, it was a lot better to me as a kid, but it, I mean, it's still good. It's, and, and for what it was, you got to think of what the time period was. Uh, but it's just a lot of singing and a lot of bad singing. <laughs> but you, get, you do get the occasional good uh, host, like Paul Williams, uh, the little guy from uh, Smokey and the Bandit. Um, that guy is very talented, very talented um, composer. He, and he sings one of the songs that he wrote for Three Dog Night in that episode, so I enjoyed that. And I enjoyed seeing the evolution of how they started the show, but you see how they find segments that do well, and then they keep bringing those segments, like Veterinarian's Hospital. Um, I still haven't got to where they're regular with uh, Beaker and Dr. Bunsen. Or is it Dr. Bunsen Burner? <laughs> so far, I've only seen one episode that they uh, he was in, and Beaker hasn't appeared yet as as I'm going. But Veterinarian Hospital, they keep bringing it back. Rolf singing uh, with the, the uh, his his songs. Uh, I like Wayne and Wanda, <laughs> which maybe we'll get a Wayne and Wanda character. I don't know how long they progress onto the show, but I love those ten second songs that end tragically. It's just it's just really uh, they end with metaphors, or is it is it metaphors? that are taken literally uh it's just it's really good so anyway so i've been yeah i've been watching the muppets so i was too busy watching the muppets to buy my train station so that's disappointing but i've enjoyed the muppets and i've enjoyed uh inventory in my star wars collection so just want to give you all a quick update be sure to check out the a full podcast each and every other friday <laughs> It's not every Friday, it's every other Friday. So we'll uh, check that out, and I will see you guys again very soon. Look, I didn't even rant. I, I was disappointed. I didn't rant. I'm not mad at Lego. I'm disappointed. But Lego, make, make, yeah, just uh, as a suggestion, when you make something good, make a lot of it so all of us can get it. See you guys.